Blair, what good can possibly come of having sex with Todd? It pissed Taya off so much. Oh my God, Dorian, her head was about to explode. <laughs> she saw us. She saw you. She what? saw us. She oh, walked oh, in. Oh, oh, oh. You demean yourself with Todd. Let Taya have him. Oh, come on. He still wants me, and now she knows all about it. So what? Oh, Dorian. May I ask how this disgusting incident happened? Well, it's, it's actually kind of a long story, but it started this morning. We were having a lovely family breakfast. Todd, me, and the kids, which is, you know, very peaceful, which is rare. Taya comes up with this lame excuse to come over there, and then Todd starts slobbering all over, and we kind of have a fight. We bring it out here with bathing suits and all, and then, I don't know, the next thing you know, we're in there having sex, and that's about it. You're leaving something very important out. Dorian, there's nothing else to say. Oh, yes, there is. You're still in love with that man, aren't you? <sighs> you have... That's a low blow. Look, I love my family. Really? Is that why you're leaving? Look, you can skip the lecture, okay? Thanks, I've already heard it from my sister. Destiny idolizes you. Can't you see that? All I know is you both have given me some choice words here. You implied that I came here to pocket some money and pump my ego. Oh, I didn't imply it. I flat out said it. Well, and then Destiny accused me of trying to buy her off with fancy gifts. I thought I gave her that phone so that she wouldn't be mad at me when I decided to leave here. But the truth is... Yeah? The truth is she was right. You ever look up to someone, like, they almost seem perfect? Sure. That's how it was with my brother. He taught me stuff. Like what? Well, he liked music from back in the day. Like Stevie Wonder. One night I got scared during a thunderstorm, and he played Isn't She Lovely for me. Forgot all about the thunder. He used to call me his little boo. That's nice, I guess. Then he just left. Forgot all about little boo. Sean tried to tell me what a jerk Greg was, but I didn't believe it. Kept defending him like a fool. You're not a fool. You wanted your brother to act like a brother. He used to. Then he graduated from med school. Thought he was all that. Then he kept coming up with lame excuses why he couldn't see me. Sorry, Destiny, I have a conference. Sorry, Destiny. But here's a fancy cell phone to keep you quiet. He got you a phone? I gave it back. I don't need it. And I don't need him. I'm sorry. I, I wish I could fix this for you. Why? I can't fix your situation. Well, you tried. You hungry? Let's go get some burgers. With fries? I think I could cover that. That's it? No response? I just told you that the man you hate more than anyone in the world had sex with Blair. You remember Blair? The woman that you are, uh, married to? Any, um... Any thoughts? Any comments? Any feelings, John? Step back. Does that answer your question? For heaven's sake, would you like to tell me how in the world you and Todd ended up in the sack together? Uh, well, maybe because I was flirting with the guy that I hired to give the kids swimming lessons. You know, that really good-looking guy at the club. The one built like an Olympic champion? Oh, my God, he has gold medal written all over him. <laughs> and that's what made you want to have sex with Todd? Well, I was kind of making out with him. With Todd or the swim instructor? Swim instructor, Dorian. Todd got bent out of shape about it and then just kicked him out. The fight you were referring to earlier. Yeah, and then, you know, things just kind of happened. Revenge sex. It was just sex. Are you happy now? No, I am not happy. I'm not happy at all, and I don't think you are either. 
I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about, really. I... Because it seems to me that you've been free of me for some time now. Physically, maybe, but mentally, it's a different story. You're still in my head, Todd, and I want you out. I don't know what you mean. I'm trying to move on with my life and be happy <laughs> for once with John, and I can't because of you. Oh, I'm sorry, I... I can't change what I did to you. I'm not talking about what happened in college. I'm talking about last year. You made me fall in love with you, you son of a bitch. And it seems I can't forget it. So are you, are you saying that you're still in love with me? Look, it may be none of my business, but giving a kid a lovely parting gift isn't the same thing as being in her life. You want to judge me? Go for it. But you have no idea how much I love my family. I would do anything for Destiny and for Sean. Yeah, as long as it doesn't interfere with your schedule. I have a career, a responsibility. I can't just tell my patients, oh, I'm sorry, I'm all booked up right now. You'll just have to deal with being an invalid. Is that what it is? Or maybe it's your need to keep up your golden boy image. It has nothing to do with image. Look, knowing that I can help these people, it, that's what gets me out of bed every morning. Well, then, it seems as if you are torn between what you're trying to achieve and your family. And if they really matter to you the way you say they do, maybe you should try fixing things with them. What's this? I'm almost afraid to ask this question, but did you have sex with Todd because you knew Taya would walk in on you? No! But I'm telling you, it was just pure luck that <laughs> it happened. I... Well, it serves her right. She shows up at Star's wedding. She comes over here and ruins my morning, bragging about how she's sharing a bed with Todd. No, well, that's nothing for either one of you to brag about. <sighs> she told a whole courtroom full of people something that I told her in confidence. Oh, that nauseating bit about Todd being the love of your life. All right, you know what? She's the one that said all of that. I just... I agreed to it. Anyway, he runs off now every night to be with her. And what, you know what? What am I supposed to just sit here and act like it's okay and be happy about that? As she goes on about how the relationship's all meaningful and how they cuddle. I mean, ugh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all, okay? And if that's immature, well then, fine. That's who I am. You felt like you lost your power, so you slept with Todd to get it back. That's sick. Hmm. Yes. But it makes sense in a sick kind of way. You don't want Todd, but you don't want anybody else to have him. Is it good for you? It's your turn. You expect me to do what you just did? Forget it. I'm not a trained professional. Bend your knees a little bit. Aim just below where you want to hit. Allow for a slight up kick. If the target was wearing a belt, you know where I'd be aiming. When you're ready, just breathe and squeeze. Feel better now? Not really. Me neither. God, don't flatter yourself. What are you doing here? Well, I got this problem because I can't. I doubt everything I feel now. I can't trust myself. Because you ruined me, Todd. Once with violence, and once with love. 